So today we're looking at collecting some seeds from Dianthus. So this is our Dianthus and it produces large flowers on a very compact plant and there's over 300 varieties of Dianthus and this one is first tickled pink and it's got these lovely pink flowers but we've deadheaded this and now we've left a few of these deadheads or seed pods on our plant so we can save some seeds so this is a perennial and it will grow for two to three years just dying off regrowing on its old stock and producing flowers so we can save some seeds to regrow again on another day so not all the seed pods produce seeds it's only the flowers that get pollinated will produce the seed pods so I've let them die down and if we see they've gone brown so we can cut some of these off now and save some and see if we've got any seeds but not all of them produce and the way of deadheading your dianthus is you go down to the leaf with the first flowers and you snip and that is our seed pods so we've got three there so let's have a look and see whether we got any seeds from our pods just going to gather a few more this one looks a good one going down to the leaf and cut there's possibility this might still regrow there's a couple of new buds there new buds here and this is growing since we deheaded it in a previous go so let's have a look at the seed heads and see whether we've got any seeds So here are some of the pods that we've collected. And we can see they're all brown. That one's still a bit green. So we're going to have a look and see whether there's any seeds among our pods. So I've got a bowl just so we don't lose any of our seeds so we've got our pods and we're just going to break it apart brush it in between our fingers and we've got nothing in there have a look at this one so nothing in there we can see there's a couple of seeds come out of that one And we're just going through. We can see there's a few seed pods come out. So I'm just rustling them.
there we go so we've done those few and we've got a few seeds come out of those and here are the seeds so that's not too bad and now these can be kept in a Ziploc bag ready for growing in the new season they can be sown February to April sown in a tray compost slightly covered with compost on top and we have a whole new bloom for next year so let me know in the comments have you collected your dianthus seeds let me know and that'd be great cheers